Bedlam is really important to both of these schools, as everyone in the state knows. I mean, they're only separated by 80 miles down Interstate 35. After being destroyed 42 to 9 against TCU last weekend, Oklahoma State will face West Virginia at home for a homecoming matchup. That was extremely important. You know, that's huge for Donnie Walton's career. That's his first home run of the season, and what a way to do that on a first game against Baylor to come out and do that and help capitalize on a win to start the series off, considering last season in Waco they dropped the series. Just pitchers, it takes years to develop the perfect pitch. Some put pressure on different spots of the ball, while others place their fingers differently on the seams. Audic Zins gives her pitchers free reign when they develop their pitch perfect. First, let's take a look back at the game from Wednesday. Oh, Greg, it was another hard game for the Cowboys to overcome. Justin Williams did get on the board early with a three-run home run over center field, bringing in Gage Green and Ryan Sluter. This was Williams' fifth home run of the season. But in the second inning, the Cowboys lost their lead when ORU answered in a loud manner. The top of the second, the Golden Eagles used 13 batters, scoring nine runs on just seven hits. The bottom of the second, the Cowboys could only squeeze in one run. The third inning, ORU capitalized on their lead with another six runs on just five hits. The Cowboys would not score again until the seventh when Williams scored on a throwing error by the Golden Eagles. OSU falls to Oral Roberts 15-5 losing to the Golden Eagles for the second time this season. We're here at the Thunder Training Center where there's a camp going on for young kids of all ages hosted by Perry Jones III. We're back live in the Student Union on this first day of classes with the chaos of lunch rush and I'm sitting here with two lovely ladies. After much anticipation, the NBA draft brought many surprises tonight, especially the picks for the Thunder, most notably Steven Adams from the University of Pittsburgh. And one player that's no stranger to a really good battle matchup is Phil Forte. In his junior year, he's a seasoned vet, and he's a stud behind the arc. And you know, in all these battle matchups he's had, he's played in five. He's reached double figures, even boasting 20 points in Norman last season. Forte and the Pokes are going to be looking for revenge against the Sooners in Gallagher Ibe Arena tonight. In his junior season, on a roster filled with freshmen and transfers, Phil Forte has emerged as a leader to the Cowboy newcomers. Despite early losses in conference play, Forte has taken it upon himself to introduce the young guns to the Big 12. We still have a lot of work to do. We still have about 11 conference games left. So, But, you know, at this point, we have a lot of young guys, so I'm just trying to teach them kind of what it's like. Uh, we have a lot of new guys that really haven't been to the Big 12, and so it's just a learning experience for them. I'm just trying to... You know, tell him kind of what it's like each and every day. For the first time since he was young, Forte is playing on a team without Marcus Smart at the point. He says senior LSU transfer Anthony Hickey has filled the void left by the current Boston Celtic. Hick's done a great job coming in. Uh, you know, for a year, he's had to try to learn the offense and defense really quick, and he's done a great job of just picking it up and, you know, trying to take off where Marcus left it. And, you know, he really affects the game in so many ways, defensively and offensively. And just his aggressiveness and competitiveness that he brings to us every day is what I think really helps our team. Forte is ranked second in the Big 12 in scoring, making 22 threes on the season so far and averaging 18 points a game. Known for being a deep threat, he's no stranger to dishing it to an open man down low, like senior Michael Cobbins, who says having a teammate like Forte is invaluable. I feel like it's outstanding. You know, he hits great shots for us. He, he pretty much just lays it all out there on the line. He brings toughness, he brings heart, and he brings passion to the game. With Bedlam and Stillwater, Forte is ready to seek revenge in front of a packed Gallagher Iba Arena. The fans are going to be into it, and you know both teams are going to bring their best out, and so it's just going to be a battle of you know who wants it more and who's going to execute their game plan. So hopefully Saturday, you know we have you know this place filled up, and uh, you know we can defend our home court um, against OU. Now, Forte is not only ranked in the Big 12 in scoring, but he's also ranked first in minutes, averaging 34 minutes a game. 